from zero to own Egypt to London, back to zero again is a measure of 6940. That number is duskiness or blackness. Zero lunation, Hebrew dictionary 621, Joseph's wife of Egyptian derivation, Asnath, the wife of Joseph. That's the distance to own. It's the distance from lunation zero to own. Yeah. yeah. Now this is why England is obsessed with the lineage redirected to the 11th son of Jacob's Israel, Joseph, who was clad in the coat of many colours and, and the coat was dipped in the blood of a kid goat, the satyr, devil. All, inherit, all invented rubbish to convince the masses that the elite are sanctioned by their god, Lucifer, with a mask of Jesus hung upon it. Genesis 37.3, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colours. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colours that was on him. And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. Hebrew Dictionary 8163 from 8175, shaggy as a noun, a he-goat by analogy, a fawn, devil, goat, hairy, kid, rough, satyr. By this means, they link back to Jerusalem via the youngest son, Benjamin, the area where Jerusalem was built. Joseph, the 11th son, became England, and his two sons, Manasseh, the older, and Ephraim, the younger, are America and Australia. And the youngest son inherits because this means Bethlehem and double fruit where Christ must be reborn. Solomon must reincarnate into the true royal line of Jesse, the father of David, and that can only be one candidate. Like Solomon the bastard son, Ronald Michael Golightly Marshall, who is 8.88 years older than Brian, Jesus, the younger brother, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. Ronald was conceived out of wedlock, wedlock and cannot inherit Israel. Now, John F. Kennedy was murdered by Freemasonry. The European nations are Freemason with Solomon's links to Sodom. England set lunation time linking the moon to the Egyptian god of the underworld. Solomon and the number at 1111. Freemason Bible and the Great Pyramid and the demand for the queen to abdicate to the Christ. Freemasonry and the murder of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, President of the United States on November the 22nd in 1963. Now Yahweh's name is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. He is the most royal man alive, just as he was as Jesus. The most royal man alive, as you would expect God, if he's going to incarnate to the earth, he has to be the most royal man on the earth. Now in December 2010, Yahweh attempted to have your office arrange an interview with yourself. You refused to give me an audience. I then gave similar information to the people of Fiji, who to a person believed. They all wanted to know what Frank thought. Yahweh had no answer for them except 
that you were a very busy man and had in all probability been warned by ASIO or the CIA who work for the Queen. On June the 14th, 2010, the Queen acknowledged receipt of Yahweh's identity and declaration and claim to the throne of David. As a child, she was told by her father, George VI, to hand over to the throne to the Christ when he returns. But as she is the head of Freemasonry and married to Lucifer, she cannot do what her position prevents her from doing. And here is a copy of the declaration and notice of claim that was received by Elizabeth Regina on the 14th of June 2010. Ten pages, all notarized by a Queen's notary. The Freemason cult that dominates the earth prevents Elizabeth from doing what her father told her she must do. Yahweh's task is to overcome the world domination by Freemasonry and the occult. Yahweh is identified by what is known as the Key of David, a reference to Isaiah 22:22, which is within the pages of the King James Bible, as in it are truths and lies. The Bible is manipulated by Freemasons, as the Bible itself is a Freemason translation carried out by 47 Freemason scholars in the Freemason universities of Oxford and Cambridge. The Bible is in fact a trap for Lucifer. Unwittingly, the Bible has been spread around the world as holy, the word of God. But it is not holy in what it says for the most part. It is holy in the values of the Greek and Hebrew alphabets that reveal a consistent confirmation that Jesus is God and is the Father and is Christ, Yahweh, himself today, Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall. And there it is. This is the King James 1611 authorised version of the Bible with the Freemason symbol on the front to be read throughout all Her Majesty's churches. This is the Go Lightly Shield, Judah the Royal Line, quoting from Genesis 49, 9, 11. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you are gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall arouse him? Judah's primary emblem, the lion, is usually shown in a couched or, couched or dormant position, lying in wait. This is the antique crown of David, belonging to the Golightly family name. Well, do you want to sum up? Okay, guys, in summary, we live in the last days where knowledge has increased. Everybody's filled with all kinds of knowledge of the heavens and the earth and the knowledge of who's doing what to whom and who it is that rules the world, the JWO and all the rest of it. But the reality is that unless you understand and acknowledge that the Lord Jesus Christ is returned to the earth on January the 11th, 1944. By the way, his birth date, 111 or 11-1, is a direct reference to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1. Go and look it up and read it. So is his conception date, which was Australia time, April 6, 1943, the 96th day of the year, the anniversary of the resurrection. 
That's a direct reference to Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born. And the government of God shall be upon his shoulders. A small child shall lead them, as he has from the age of 4.84 years old. He's been telling the world the truth. He's been persecuted for it, abused and rejected. All fulfilling prophecy. The rejection of the capstone, which is all about rejection of the return to Lord Jesus Christ. The only way onto the earth is through the womb of your mothers. There are no aliens. Aliens did not create you. Aliens did not come and visit and drop you off somewhere and they are not returning. The only aliens that may return may be holograms invented by the JWO to fool you all more. It's not going to happen though. That's called Operation Blue Beam. Everybody's awake up to that now. So, what does it all mean? The altar to the Lord in the midst of, period, of Egypt. You cannot understand anything. You cannot understand the heavens. You cannot understand Nibiru. You cannot understand life itself unless you understand that the mind of the Creator was the intelligence behind the building of the pyramid as that mind directed the sons of Noah, the descendants of Noah, to build the pyramid as the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt to tell in this time now, the time of the end, who the returned Lord Jesus Christ is. It's Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall. The new name of the Revelation 19.12, where it says very clearly, he has a name written that only he will know. That was in order to protect the name from the hijacking of Lucifer, as it has done throughout the churches. So only he will know it, and he's been telling the world ever since he could speak what that name is. Now the Christian world is looking for their Messiah to front up in a flash with the universe emanating as rays out of the palm of his hands on a fucking white horse in the clouds in the sky, just like a ghost. Never, ever going to happen. Oh, my. <laughs> Operation Bluebeam? Maybe. <laughs> The Hasta only way vista, onto baby. earth is through your mother's womb for God himself. And his message is really simple. He's the big kahuna. He proves who he is through the pyramid, through his creation, through measuring the earth. And his message to you is, you are our offspring. No, that's actually wake the fuck up.